Welcome back, Star. Welcome to Sun, Moon, and Stars Intuitive. I am Oracle of the Ether, and I came on to give an energy reading. This will be a karmic energy. This applies to all signs. Parts of this reading may resonate, parts may not. Take what's for you and leave the rest. If you are viewing me for the first time, I want to say welcome. Go ahead and hit that subscription button. We would love to have you over here in this channel, okay? I want to welcome back all my stars and all the incoming stars go ahead. Please feel free to comment, like, subscribe, and even share. This is a karmic energy reading. All my readings are timeless. If you would like to check out the individual readings for each sign that are already posted, they are very detailed, go ahead and check those out. We're going to go ahead and get straight into the energy. I've already done my meditation, cleanse my deck, and call in the appropriate guidance protection needed. I just ask that you keep an open mind because, again, this reading may or may not be for you. And excuse me if I uh, hem and haw a little bit because we're in the middle of Mercury retrograde, all right? All right. Ether, show me what it is I need to see. This will be a karmic energy reading, no specific layout. We're going to see what comes out. Ether, show me what it is I need to see. Here we have the Divine Feminine. This is my Feminine, Divine Feminine card. And we have Divine Feminine sitting pretty, ecstatic, I'm getting ecstasy. I feel like this group of Feminines are right where they need to be because we have the truth here. Okay, the scales may have been unseen unbalanced divine feminine or divine masculine whichever we shall see and some sort of truth here but oh no this is the truth regarding the divine feminine so the scales was unbalanced it was something that was unjust here with the divine feminine we shall see what comes out either show me what it is i need to see the gospel so this is something sacred this is sacred knowledge here this is something that someone wouldn't run across. Oh, the Divine Feminine is coming up in this karmic reading. All right. So we have vows. So obviously this is regarding some sort of partnership. Now, this could be Divine Feminines that are married. Okay. This could have something to do with a Divine Feminine that is married. Or this could have something to do with a Divine Masculine that is married. But there's some vows here. And this most definitely has something to do with karma. So here we have the divine feminine walking or sitting at this doorway. This doorway, we don't know where this divine feminine is going. Maybe you don't know, okay? There's some sort of truth and some sort of fight here. I'm going to take this as the masculine energy wanting to fight for the truth, walking through a door of un unknown to come towards their divine feminine. However, of course, we're going to see the curses, right? So I feel like this masculine energy here is leaving something that they felt cursed in. This may have been a situation, a partnership, whether it's business or personal, that this masculine went back to due to finances, okay? Yeah, this has something to do with blood. This is something that has to do with contracts. Maybe this is why we've seen the gospel come out. And obviously, I feel like this masculine feels like something is dying out, okay? This masculine could have thought, or this feminine could have thought, something about this vow. We shall see. This is going to get interesting. What's going on with this reading? Either show me what it is I need to see. So here we have Mars and Pluto. So we have Scorpion energy as well as Aries energy, most definitely Scorpion and Aries energy. So I feel like with the Mars energy here, 
someone in the past may have confronted someone they had took some action again this could have been a divine feminine taking action but i doubt it i feel like this is the divine masculine taking action to to resurrect something okay i feel like this masculine wants to know exactly which partner they have sacred vows with okay yeah so i feel like this particular masculine or feminine because at this point i don't know i know that the divine feminine is sitting in the forefront of this karmic reading so something is going to happen immediately okay this is the first house this has something to do with your appearance or the way other people see you or the way you see someone else all right and this is about you letting the mask fall off depending on whoever this is going to resonate with okay and this is something that's going to happen immediately so i feel like there was something that came to the light about a partnership here interesting so most definitely we have Scorpio coming up again. What's going on with the Scorpio energy? We have Mercury retrograde in Scorpio, okay? So there's a lot of things um, uh, going through this person's mind at this time about this ending, okay? Or this partnership. Oh, yeah, someone most definitely wants to communicate. Now, I feel like this may have been a masculine or a feminine that walked away from whoever is resonating with this reading. This here is Gemini energy with the third house, okay? This is telling me that something ended and someone wants to move forward with the right partnerships, okay? This person has an idea that you are the right person or they are the right person for you. Okay, and this person is thinking of ways to communicate with you, possibly about some sort of higher level commitment, some sort of vows here. You can show me what it, what it is. Oh, too many cards. Oh, goodness. But we have Gemini, we have the ninth house, and we have the south house. Okay, all right, so I get it. This is a choice in a partnership, either to remain with the karmic energy or to move on with the divine feminine. Now, this could have something to do with someone that has either Sagittarius in the South House or Gemini in the South House. South House. <laughs> you could be a Gemini or Sagittarius um, resonating with this reading. We've seen so far Aries, Scorpio, all right, and most definitely Sagittarius with the Jupiter, and then we have the Ninth House, okay? So I feel like someone went back in the past to clear up some partnership something uh, regarding a partnership okay i feel like someone may have not wanted some information to come out okay um i feel like someone may have got into some uh legal complications this has something to do with the marriage for sure a sort some sort of joint litigations because i'm hearing legalities Okay, so someone went back to clear up something in their past having to do with a partnership. Now, this could have something to do with a marriage or having something to do with not learning a lesson. Okay, because here we have Saturn. Okay, so Saturn is here telling you or this person to be realistic about what you want. I feel like someone feels like they made a mistake about their vows in the past. Now, this could have been um, any form of higher level commitment. It could have been a marriage. It could have been common law. Okay, so Saturn here. Saturn is here with Capricorn. This is saying for someone to be realistic. So Saturn. Oh, hold on. Okay. <clears throat> Saturn is here. Saturn is the ruler of Capricorn. It's the ruler of our finances. It's the ruler of our, of our structure. This is Father Time. All right. This is the person that dishes. Well, the person. Yeah, this could literally be a person, or this could be that energy of someone putting their foot down here and saying, It's time for you to make the right choices, the right decisions regarding your life here. Especially if it has something to do with spirituality. And being that this is a karmic read, it is because this involves divine counterparts and twin flames. Now, Saturn is here to grant someone their wishes. It could be this divine feminine that's ready to walk through these unfamiliar doors here. 
I, I apologize about that. My son needs me, you know. Okay, so here we have this divine feminine um, or the mas divine masculine that's ready to go through these doors here, okay? So there's some sort of higher level commitment here for you, divine feminine. And so I'm so glad that this came out in this karmic reading. So I feel like this is a confirmation for um, divine feminine dealing with karmic partners or situations that has to do with vows okay this would be in finances or uh, spiritual vows spiritual contracts okay so so far we have capricorn sagittarius we have aries scorpio show up and then we have pluto so obviously this is regarding someone going on some sort of higher level uh learning i'm getting training um someone could be watching you divine feminine this could be a karmic watching you will get into it later on in this reading watching you grow okay there's some there's something um here behind your expansion and your growth that has something to do with your legacy something to do with how you were re how you were raised okay you can have someone trying to look into your past here trying to see how you gain your money Mm hmm yeah okay we have this Libra energy with the seventh house so this is obviously regarding business and personal okay and this is about either um, karma being restored to you divine feminine through this karm through this karmic somehow okay it's gonna take some willpower and some strength here all right I want to see what is the outcome of the situation. You can show me what it is I need to see. Taurus keeps hopping up. Okay, so we have Leo Taurus also showed up here. So the outcome of this situation is yet to, to be known because someone here is facing either karma surrounding their finances. This could have something to do with the Taurus or Leo or this there's someone refusing to change. They have uh, a big ego, I'm getting, okay? But however, there is a transformation with the Scorpio here. And we did see a lot of uh, Pluto um, shadow energy, dark night of the soul energy is it, also healing. Okay, so someone could want to bring some sort of healing to you, Divine Feminine. It could be a karmic partner that wants to heal something with you, possibly a Scorpio, but it doesn't have to be. Something is going to come out. Okay, it has something to do about your stability with this Capricorn here. It could also have something to do with a Capricorn, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This will resonate with everybody differently. This is about something coming to the light, about some sort of communication. It could be having to do with your finances. It could be having something to do with uh, you traveling, you gaining some fame here, and the um, scales being balanced, okay? There's a lot of abundance here. There's a lot of balance here showing up in this karmic reading, okay? So someone is most definitely watching you uh, gain some sort of success. You could be dealing again with the Capricorn. You could be a Capricorn. We see all the signs here. Um, Mars, Scorpio, and Aries energy, Jupiter, Sagittarius, Libra, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Aries, and the Sun with Leo. This is regarding partnerships. Now, this is going to resonate again with everyone differently. There's going to be some balance restored to the Divine Feminine and surrounding something to do with this karmic here. What do I need to know about the Scorpio, about this transformation? People, show me what it is I need to see. Obsession and forgetting oneself. So here we have, um, this is going to resonate with those divine feminines that have karmic situations where people are obsessing over you. Again, you could be in the public eye or you could just ha simply have uh, karmic individuals obsessing over you. This could be male or female to the point so much where they're forgetting their selves. They are watching you, trying to mimic you. Okay. This is what needs to come to an end for someone, okay? This person feels fragmented. They feel tied to you in some cases. Some of you may have some soul ties to these karmics. 
especially when there's vows associated. Um, I'm hearing polygamy, cheating, affairs. Okay, so for the Scorpio energy, we have hiding your true self. So most definitely someone is obsessing over you with the Scorpio energy. Someone is hiding themselves. They have a lot of passion for you, possibly this karmic. They feel fragmented. I feel like this person feels like they get some sense of peace. They may feel like they see a lot of you, divine feminine, in themselves, right? And they are addicted to you, okay? Just as much as this masculine energy. However this resonates with you, you have a divine counterpart where their person is just as much as addicted to you as, as your masculine or feminine, Okay, um, yeah, this person is willing to do anything to keep this person here. They um, they mimic you. They watch you. This person even is a love hate situation. Yeah, is this me? This person doesn't know whether to love you or hate you. Yeah, they 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 are totally losing themselves in this situation. Oh, why is Saturn here? I want to know. Why is Saturn here? Ether, show me what it is. Uh, forgetting oneself, wanting to come out. Obsession. This person, it's time for this person. Uh, this person is receiving some karma for their obsessive ways. Okay. Um, this this person, obviously, I feel, you know, I feel magic here. Why is Vibes here? You could have karmic individuals that's not even in, uh, you know, people that you may have picked up along the way that, is, that are obsessing over you. Are obsessing over your twin flame journey or just you in general your growth yeah for vows we get is this me okay so someone is trapped in the marriage they know that it's a karmic partnership they know that there was someone that is obsessive um, I feel like this person is kind of like I'm getting um, 50 shades of gray okay and so here we have atonement right all these knives being stuck in their back this is someone that deals with pain they like pain okay so this is a karmic partner um, even your masculine or feminine that's hiding the fact that they like pain they're addicted to that um, they think that it's love here um, this is a couple that probably enjoys dark sex they may have done a lot of dark, you know, sexual things here with this fragmentation. I feel like this couple have a lot of soul ties. This is a couple that may have, uh, what is that? They go and uh, sleep at, around at them parties and stuff. Yeah, they have addiction to sex. And the, the child I was meant to be, this is somebody that is in the public eye. This is somebody that doesn't want things to come out about them with the Jupiter and the Pluto here. This person may appear religious or run so, some sort of religious group. They may even be married. Uh, divine feminines that are watching this. This could be someone that is highly respected. Okay. Um, and for some reason, if they get caught outside of their marriage maybe it's a tradition thing i don't know but here we have the nine of discs someone is burying something here some sort of blockage okay i feel like you're dealing with someone that tries to um bury their feelings for you divine feminine or this karmic is helping this person to bury this their feelings for you with the five of cups here i feel like this masculine or feminine is tired why is, is this me here they're, they're no longer um, wanting to stay in this marriage <clears throat> mm -hmm. with the knave of wands yeah this is uh energy that's very passionate again i'm getting dominatrix this is someone that's very dominant in the bed your masculine or feminine likes that or they used to like it it could be a gemini libra aquarius energy with the seven of swords reverse this is someone that gets off on uh, being tricky and malicious and in their marriage, in their partnerships. I feel like your masculine or feminine knows it. Scorpio energy, they want to put a, um, um, you know, a stop to it. They're tired of it. If you can see your masculine or feminine is back there chained. Okay. Um, yeah. At the bottom of the deck, we have four of cups. We have someone that, you know, 
this particular karmic is wondering why this masculine or feminine is not falling for their tricks anymore, okay? They don't want to do the things that they used to do. Obsession. Oh, that came out. <clears throat> and instantly, I, I'm getting, I'd rather be judged by 12 than carried by 6. Is that how it is? <laughs> Confirmation from my son with the four of swords here. Yeah, have someone who's very obsessive here. Uh, with the four of swords uh, energy. I feel like someone was very persistent. You know, again, we have someone that could possibly have been doing graveyard. Um, can't incantations, chants, and things of that sort. You know, they could have possibly did work on you, Divine Feminine or Divine Masculine, if you're watching this. I feel like um, right now, Saturn is obviously here and they want to put a rest, okay? Saturn wants to put a rest to the situation. They want this person to stop with their obsessive th thinking and their uh, obsessive manipulation with the Ace of Discs. This is someone that... Um, is easily tempted by money. Four of Swords. Yeah. Eight of Swords. Yeah, this is someone that, you know, obviously carries a lot of um, magnetic energy because we can see this karmic here in the red. You know, this is someone that's very desirable, but, you know, when people are sleeping, this is what this person does, whether it's male or female. They're stabbing people while they're asleep. Okay, so again, this is the obsessive energy surrounding you or your person here with the Ten of Cups, right? This is um, a karmic that get they get their kicks off of blood, you know, how many people that they can hurt, whether if they're male or female. Here it is. We have a pure energy and then we have a obsessive energy, a demanding energy here. Okay. Um, and also we have Bassett there. Okay, so this karmic is here offering this masculine or feminine blood. Ooh, Eight of Swords. I feel like someone is finding out that this karmic is uh, has obsessive tendencies towards you, divine feminine. Yeah, this per this person constantly offers um, toxic energy. This is someone that offers just so they can set you up and get you in some sort of trap. This is a karmic, obviously, with Saturn here. This is your ancestors, your higher self, trying to get you to open up and see. Okay. In the past, <clears throat> you, your person may have defended this karmic energy. Okay. They may have even defended you a couple of times. That could have pissed this karmic off. Why is Scorpio here? This could also be karmic family and friends, all right, surrounding you, divine feminine. Okay, so we have an end to the Ten of Swords, the backstabbing, the end of you or your masculine or feminine laying down and being stabbed in the back, okay? Again, I do get the fact that someone, the energy of someone liking pain, okay? Someone here is obviously constantly being tempted to the dark side with the Ace of Cups, Okay, there's something hidden about this karmic or your masculine or your feminine. Ten of Swords here. It's obviously an ending here. Someone is ready to show them sit true selves. We have with the Ten of Swords. That's another confirmation. So we have the Ten of Swords and the Two of Swords, excuse me. So there's an ending to the confusion here. And we also have Two of Wands that came out reverse. So, Divine Feminine, if you're watching, Divine Masculine, if you're watching, you either have a karmic trying to come back or you are trying to go back to your true partner. You may have lost yourself in a current partnership or your person may have had um, been tempted. This could also be someone that drinks a lot or has some sort of substance or heavy addiction here. Again, there's some atonement happening. Or there's going to, there's going to. Um, <clears throat> hiding your true self I hope this resonates with someone we have the queen of swords Gemini, Libra, Aquarius alright so someone is sitting in the cuts they're hiding, they're watching this one, this person is not um, 
fearful of the divine here. This is someone that, is, that doesn't care about what the divine has to say. This person has their sword away. However, they are very greedy and they're holding on and they're willing to do anything that they can to make sure they keep their status. Okay. Yeah. This person has mental illness or yeah. With the chariot card here, this person just wants victory. This person is fragmented. Uh-oh, they have a lot of soul <laughs> ties here. There's some sort of loss and regret. This person may have, have you know, done deals with a lot of different people here. This could be a masculine or a feminine having some sort of regret here. Yeah, they, they're wanting to move forward, but, you know, we have this big ugly monster blocking. And, uh, you know, unfortunately... For some, it's themselves. Tell me why this four of this is here. Yeah, this person is fearing retribution. This four of this is here because we have the knave of this. This is a princess that's bloodthirsty. That's willing to take your heart out for what she wants. She does not care. This is an immature feminine energy that just is worried about her. So she's holding on to this masculine's heart. With the five of disc here, possibly holding on to finances. They may even be having, um, trying to turn this person's children against them, I'm getting. With the three of cups, or turn family against them. Yeah, three of swords. For some of you, this masculine um, or feminine energy, um, excuse me, this karmic energy may be sleeping with the masculine's family members. Our, our, our feminine family members with the nine of wands here. Something may come out. Someone may find this out here and move forward. <clears throat> However, once this is found out, this person is not going to stop their negative. Uh, it's just going to make them worse. Give me parting for this reading. Ether, show me what it is I need to see. Show me what it is I need to see. So here we have our relate in peace. It's time for you to relate in peace, stop the manipulation, the black magic, and I care for the earth. Some of you may be pregnant or um, very fertile. Right now, you may be coming out with new projects, okay? Some of you, you're trying to have children, and you may experience some blockage because of karma from the past. This is going to require you to humble yourself. Okay, I got to stop this reading. I hope you enjoyed it. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see y'all later.